And yet again, Madara Uchiha has proven why he is God of this series. You do not fuck with the man at all. So in this episode of Naruto, we see all the Edo Tenseis disappearing. And I like that they extended on like their disappearance, like, uh, like put a little bit more like feeling into like what disappeared. Because in the manga, it's just like, oh, fuck it. Like, we're gone. See ya. Like that. And I like that in the manga, you know, they actually had conversations saying, oh, uh, Thank you for doing that. So like, especially with um Kankro, with um when he went to see Gra um Granny Chio, we never saw that in the manga. I really liked when he's saying, you know, I lead the puppet um puppetry arts to you. That was really cool. And then as well when you see like Dan as well when he releases it and he goes over and fights Tsunai, because you even see Madara is such a fucking boss that he doesn't give a shit about the Edo Tensei ending. He's still gonna fight until the fucking end. So I gotta give him that and it was thanks to Dan that he was actually able to save um Tsunade since she ran out of the hundred healing arts. So that was really cool and also gave us some chapter to continue. But Madara is not having none of it. He's like, fuck it. I know the symbols. I'm going to make my own Edo Tensei. And they just said, you just made this even more fucking worse than you already did. And Madara knows the Edo Tensei symbol, so all he has to do is just simply redo it onto himself. So he's now there. Free will. He's got infinite chakra and infinite pissed off temper and a huge cockiness level to boast. So, the Kage's just kind of made it worse with Madara. So now he can do whatever the fuck he wants. And he's like saying, oh, do I really have to use the perfect Susanoo again? It was embarrassing the first time using it on you guys. I had to use it again because I said, your pathetic ass got saved. Like, he is so up there. He's like, he's saying, I'm getting pretty bored of this battle already. Why don't I just head over and go with Naruto and fight him? Like, maybe put them more, a little bit more entertainment. So, I love that about Madara, fucking boss. You also get to see as well what's been happening as well with Toby, Naruto, Kakashi, and Guy. They're beating the shit out of the ghetto Mazu. Like, they're just going fucking in. Like, they, like you see, like, freaking Kakashi doing the lightning cable. You see, like, Mike Guy just freaking doing a dynamic entry on the fucking, like, ghetto Mazu's pinky toe. Like, and then just as well, Naruto fighting, still going in. He isn't in his full uh, Biju mode, but he's, um, in his, uh, just Nine Tails, um, Chakra mode. And then you see, like, uh, uh like, with, uh, Toby, you just see him saying, you know what, we've waited long enough. And he gives the tentacle from the Eight Tails and the Gold and Silver Brothers in that gourd into the Ghetto Masu, and it's like, I'm gonna revive the Ten Tails now. The Ten Tails is being revived, people, it's being fucking revived. Like, as well, I just really liked a lot of things about this episode, like, the whole stuff with Dan, like, that stuff was great. It was a really good episode again, I really did like it, and then, a little bit at the end where you see, like, Sasuke saying, what is a clan? What is a family? Like, you know, what is a village? What are Shinobi? He's, like, questioning everything he's thought of upon now, when Itachi left him. And he's thinking about that, and then... He didn't get to his answer because Jugo and Soigetsu appeared at the end saying, Oh, we got something for you. And the preview just spoiled about it. And then what they're saying, saying, Orochimaru revived. So, Orochimaru is coming back, people. So, you better look forward to that next week. I'm looking forward to that. So, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. That's all for me. I want to thank you very much for watching. Remember, Strata Panda, Santa, and I'll see you guys next time.